2020, Friday the 22nd of May. <clears throat> I believe I ended on uh, John 8, 12 the other day. Then Jesus spoke to them again, saying, I am the light of the world. He who follows me shall not walk in darkness, but have the light of life. I want you to get a little understanding here uh, this morning about the truth shall make you free. If you're needing to be set free, where do you need to be set free from? We all, we all know it's to be set free from sin. That means you're born in sin, right? That means you're not automatically going to heaven without a Savior. Correct? Correct. So if you're born in sin, when you're doing sin, then you are a slave to sin. That means you need a Savior. That's why God's Son, Jesus, came to set us free. But we have free will to decide to be set free or not. We can go on to hell. We can live on hell on earth, be hell on earth, and go to hell. In hell. What does Jesus' name mean? It means God is salvation. Jesus, Yeshua, Yeshua means to save, save alive, rescue you before you pass. You can be rescued and go to heaven. Or you can live in sin. No sin is going to hell, heaven. There's a place for it. Hell was made for uh, the third of the angels. Well, demons now, they get, and Satan that got kicked out of heaven. So God had to make a place for them because our spirits cannot die. When you die, your spirit's coming out of your body. According to this holy word here, it's coming out of your body. It has to go somewhere. The Bible says you have one or two spirits in you. Spirit of God, Spirit of Satan. You're either doing the will of the Father of God or the will of your Father, Satan. All right. <clears throat> John 8, 13 starts. Jesus defends his self-witness. The Pharisees therefore said to him, You bear witness of yourself. Your witness is not true so even back then the court systems were set up I'm going to say whether they realize or not with instructions of God through the Bible when you go to court it really helps if there's a witness for your whip <laughs> to save you or to send you to jail one way or the other. But in that, Jesus claimed the Father as a witness. Jesus answered and said to them, even if I bear witness of myself, now this is God's Son, my witness is true, for I know where I came from and where I am going, but you do not know where I come from and where I am going. You judge according to the flesh, I judge no one, and yet if I do judge, my judgment is true, for I am not alone, but I am with the Father who sent me. When you become born again, you change fathers. When you accept Jesus Christ as your Savior, and you're filled with the Holy Spirit, become made whole, you are free from sin you don't have to sin anymore sin no more and yet if I do judge my judgment is true for I am not alone but I am with the father who sent me it is also written in your law that the testimony of two men is true I am one who bears witness of myself and the father who sent me bears witness of me 
Where is my father? The answer. Then they said to him, where is your father? Jesus answered, you know neither me nor my father. He's telling them that folks that they, they, they need saved. If you had known me, you would have known my father also. These words, these words Jesus spoke in the treasure, treasury as he taught in the temple and no one laid hands on him for his hour had not yet come. Then Jesus said to them, I am going away and you will seek me and will die in your sin. Where I go, you cannot go. Did you get that right there? Jesus cast this one to kill him in that. Then Jesus said to them, I am going away and you will seek me and will die in your sin. Where I go, you cannot go. You got to be born again, man. Your sins have to be forgiven. This stuff being taught in these churches, it's automatically you're forgiven and all that. No, Jesus loves you. But it's hard to find men or women today to teach the truth. So the Jews said, Will he kill himself because he says, where I go, you cannot go? See, they're still in the flesh, man. They're not getting it. And he said to them, you are from beneath. I am from above. Do you understand that? Jesus came down to heaven, down to earth. We were already here. Without Jesus, we're going on down forever burning. Without Jesus, you will. And he said to them, you are from beneath. I am from above. You are of this world. I am not of this world. Therefore, I said to you that you will die in your sins. For if you do not believe that I am he, you will die in your sins. The same stuff I was saying. Then they said to him, Who are you? And Jesus said to them, Just what I have been saying to you from the beginning. I have many things to say and to judge concerning you. But he who sent me is true, and I speak to the world those things which I heard from him. Remember about Jesus came to save the world? The world's already in sin. It's not free. Those people like the Clintons, Pelosi's, the Bidens, and all that garbage, they need Jesus. They need to be born again. They need to become whole. They need a heart change. Instead of a flesh kingdom spirit of Satan, they don't need to get political. Then they said to him, who are you? And Jesus said to them, just what I have been saying to you from the beginning. I have many things to say and to judge concerning you. But he who sent me is true. And I speak to the world those things which I have heard from him. They did not understand that he spoke to them of the father. Then Jesus said to them, when you lift up the son of man, which is Jesus, then you will know that I am he and that I do nothing of myself. But as my father taught me, I speak these things and he who sent me is with me. The father has not left me alone for I always do those things that please him. 
Jesus is our example. As he spoke these words, many believed in him. All right, folks, now we're on 831. The truth shall make you free. And Jesus said to those who, if you're an alcoholic or problems with drugs, or whatever your problem is, porno, that's sin. You're bound by it. You have spirits pounding on you continuously to do these things that aren't fun. Do you know alcohol is poison? Look at it. Study it yourself. Alcohol is poison to the body. When you drink alcohol or any of the above, you're saying Jesus is not enough. The Holy Spirit's not enough. You need this. You need to be set free from this problem. Then Jesus said to those who believed in him, if you abide in my word, you are my disciples indeed. Then, then Jesus said to those Jews who believed in him, then Jesus said to those Jews who believed in him, if you abide in my word, you are my disciples. Obey indeed. You are my disciples indeed, and you shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. Praise God. They answered him, we are Abraham's descendants and have never been in bondage to anyone. How can you say you will be made free? Jesus answered them, Most assuredly, I say to you, whoever commits sin is a slave of sin. And a slave does not abide in the house forever, but a son abides forever. Therefore, if the Son makes you free, you shall be free indeed. That's 836. <sighs> 837. Abraham's seed and Satan's. I know that you are Abraham's descendants. But you seek to kill me because my word has no place in you. All the folks, all the people that don't believe in Jesus, that wants all the Christians locked up or killed. I, this is Jesus talking. I know that you are Abraham's descendants, but you seek to kill me because my word has no place in you. That should be kicking hearts to the curb. Today, watch your actions, your words, your thoughts, the whole nine yards. If you're not, have the power of God in you to push all that away in Jesus' mighty name. It has to flee from you in Jesus' name to push all that away in Jesus name and you continue to live in sin you are bound by it I speak what I have seen with my father and you do what you have seen with your father I know that you are Abraham's descendants but you seek to kill me because my word Has no place in you. I speak what I have seen with it's uh, eight eight thirty eight John. I speak what I have seen with my father, and you do what you have seen with your father. You need to be saved from your father Satan, who has bound you in sin.
They answered and said to him, Abraham is our father. Jesus said to them, if you were Abraham's children, you know, he said, if you were Abraham's children, you would do the works of Abraham. But now you seek to kill me, a man who has told you the truth, which I heard from God. Abraham did not do this. You do the deeds of your father. Then they said to him, we were not born of fornication. We have one father, God. Jesus said to them, pay attention. If God were your father, you would love me. For I proceeded forth and came from God. Nor have I come of myself, but he sent me. Why do you not understand my speech? Because you are not able to listen to my word. When you walk away from here today and you don't repent of your sin, it just told you why. You're headed to hell. You need to pray to God, the Holy Spirit, to pull on your heart today. To pull the pulling on your heart to repent and get right with God. Your time is short here. And Jesus loves you. Why do you not understand my speech? Because you are not able to listen to my word. You are of your father, the devil, and he and the desires of your father you want to do. He was a murderer from the beginning and does not stand in the truth because there is no truth in him. When he speaks a lie, he speaks from his own resources, for he is a liar and the father of it. But because I tell the truth, you do not believe me. Which, you, which of you convicts me of sin? And if I tell the truth, why do you not believe me? He who is of God hears God's words. Therefore, you do not hear because you are not of God. Some of you are going, how come I don't preach this in most of the churches? Exactly. That's why God's got guys like me up here in the middle of 63 and a half acres. Helping my dad out. Opening this Bible up in the morning to give you the truth. Jesus loves you. He come to save the world, not to destroy it. He don't have to come and destroy the world. The world is destroyed already. And it's going to leave. And heaven's going to come down. And if you're a child of God, you're going to live in it. You're going to heaven. If you're not, you're going to hell. Can you hear the word today? Is your heart being touched, pricked, pulled open? Being touched, wanting you to repent and be set free from sickness? Sin and sickness is the same thing. Open your little mind up a little bit. Open your little heart up a little bit. When we get mad at somebody or we open doors up, we let spirit sin. We may get COVID-19. You need to say, stay sinless before God. You do that through the blood of Jesus Christ. Amen.